James, you're up next from Georgia. James, welcome. Yes, uh, on our soils, we're extremely hot during the summertime and applying nitrogen to coastal Bermuda pastures and hay fields, and we have, uh, want to know how long will it hold and prevent volatilization? All right, hay fields in the summertime. <laughs> One of the one of the things that when you start applying to hay fields uh, during hot Georgia summers uh, is that any form of fertilizer is going to volatilize very quickly uh, because uh, if you get a rain event right after that, it's laying on the surface, it's going to it's going to bounce right out of that surface in the ammonia or the ammoniification process is going to be quite large. So again, preventing that so that uh, the rain that, that comes and uh, will move it down into that soil, uh, carries it down in. You think about that uh, little pellet of fertilizer that can either be protected with a shield or unprotected. That's the way you kind of want to think about this. Yeah. And it, that unprotected one is going to dissolve and, and go back into the atmosphere. As you look at something that's more protected, like a time-release aspirin is going to move down into the soil. Once it gets into the soil volume, uh, then it's going to be released and taken up by the plant. And as we saw with the brome grass study, uh, increase in production, increase in protein. In uh, protein, yeah. The quality aspect is something that I think the producers really need to be paying attention to. I think to, to build on that a little bit, you know, this volatilization process usually happens within a 10-day period. So from the time that you apply, within a week to 10 days, that's when you'll have all the loss. That's a good point. So if yeah. you can cut out the loss for a couple mm -hmm. weeks, which, which Agritain does, if you can stop that loss for that period, then you're, you're good for the season because then you're past the risk of volatilization. Yeah, giving the plant a chance mm -hmm. to absorb and, and, and let the plant do what it's normally, mm -hmm. what Mother Nature intended it to do. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right. See, we're all learning here together. <laughs> David, uh, we're gonna stay in Georgia, in fact. David, you're up next. Thank you for calling. Yes, sir, thank you for having me. Absolutely, your question. Um, Wondering if uh, it would work uh, in a drip irrigation system uh, when we run fertilizer through our vegetables. Uh. Hey, here we go. Okay, good, good. Uh, irrigation, uh, I know there's some irrigation out there in Colorado. They may be doing corn, but they're irrigating it out there. They're, they're irrigating it. They're, they're actually using urea in, in a furrow irrigation system, but for a uh, fertigation system where you're adding uh, a material into the the pipe as you move down, which is typically in, in vegetable production. Uh, again, it will hold it there, uh, and it, it also pre prevent it from moving around from uh, leaching down through that. So you're going to keep that nitrogen in that root zone where that plant's really going to have yeah. the highest probability of of extracting it and of putting it into uh, vegetable production. Yeah, I would think from from what I've learned here, if you, especially in an irrigation type system, and those that are above ground, not gravity flow, but right. if they're when you, when that spray goes out into the air, you've got a, a immediate opportunity for loss before it even hits the ground. Let alone the you know the, the loss after it sits there for one or two days. That's correct. All yeah. right, maybe our last caller. We're told uh, time goes fast, but David, <laughs> you have made the cut from North Carolina. <laughs> we are glad you did. Oh, hey there. Uh, Your question. My, my question would be: uh, I've got beef cattle. And spreading fertilizer in the pasture, is there any withdrawal if you have to keep the cattle off for any period of time or anything? Wow, these are just, uh, you couldn't ask for better questions here tonight. That's a great question, David. I hadn't thought about that myself. Okay. You're really challenging us here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so any withdrawal any, any, any for any livestock producer uh, or pets that might be on pastures or horses and that kind of thing? Those, I think that's what he's alluding to. We can yeah. expand that question a little bit. Well, I think um, perhaps what that's alluding to is some pesticides, some crop protection agents will have a harvest interval so that you're not allowed to harvest a crop within a certain time or have animals on the, on the pasture at a certain time. That's not an issue with agrotain. It's not a pesticide, so it doesn't have these kinds of restrictions. Uh, the animals can, can enter the field immediately. Right. That's a great point, and uh, uh, one that... Uh, you know, again, viewers that, that ask a question that helps other viewers, and, and so it is, I think it kind of, what I wanted to allude to is the, uh, 
the uh, the growers giving you information, uh, USDA, <laughs> and the growers uh, getting back to their dealer, thus back to Agritain. It's that two-way communication. This again, this time of year might be that time when you get that feedback, and it certainly helps you as you prepare for 2010 in your research that you want to expand on. It, it does. In fact, we do a lot of very close interaction with producers. In fact, we a lot of our research ideas try to fill in uh, what they have concerns about. As we put it into a farming practice, you know, how does it fit? But we need to know from their perspective, uh, the producer's perspective, what are their, what are their burning questions and, and how can that help them uh, go along in improving production? And I know, uh, Brian, we were out at the Commodity Classic here this year, and uh, right next to the Agritain booth, you guys were busy. Uh, you not perhaps <laughs> were there, but I know the Agritain fellows were busy. And it was, again, getting that feedback, a two-way communication to, uh, to producers and back to the company. Very important. We're all in this together. You know, it's, it's really linking everybody from the, from the research, and we're very thankful for this great.